Ferdinand Ludwig von Helmholtz was born in Potsdam, Prussia in August 31st, 1821 and died September 8th, 1894 in Charlottenburg, Germany. During Helmholtz's life, Germany went through various periods of unrest until rebellions were stopped around 1849. Helmholtz was the eldest of four children and was sick and confined to home for the first seven years of his life. His father, Ferdinand von Helmholtz, was a teacher at the Potsdam Gymnasium, and his mother pretty much just took care of the kids. So around Helmholtz's time, there was this idea called natural philosophy, spelled like this. The whole idea was that science could be based off of philosophical concepts rather than hard data. Helmholtz spent the rest of his life trying to refute this idea. Helmholtz later married Olga von Velten and worked at the Academy of Fine Arts in Berlin, the Physiological Institute in Königsberg, or Kaliningrad, the University of Bonn, the University of Berlin, and finally, the Physico-Technical Institute of Berlin. Helmholtz began in physiology, the study of the normal functions of living organisms and their parts. However, over the years, he moved into physics, the study of properties of matter and energy. Helmholtz's biggest idea was an 1847 treatise on the conservation of energy, which also postulated a relationship between heat, light, electricity, and magnetism by treating them all as manifestations of a single force, or energy. Even though this was Helmholtz's most popular idea, he was accused of plagiarism of a paper by Julius Robert von Mayer, whom Helmholtz forgot to quote. In 1849, Helmholtz measured the speed at which the signal is carried along a nerve fiber, reporting speeds between 24.6 and 38.4 meters per second. In 1863, Helmholtz invented the Helmholtz resonator to identify the various tones in music, influencing Alexander Graham Bell, even though Bell actually misread what the diagrams meant and ended up being horribly confused. In 1867, Helmholtz wrote the Handbook of Physiological Optics, which describes some theories on depth perception, color vision, and motion perception. In 1871, Helmholtz also discovered that the velocity of the propagation of electromagnetic induction was about 314,000 meters per second. On a final note, whoever in the pursuit of science seeks after immediate practical utility may rest assured that he seeks in vain. <laughs>